Negative ass son. Now I discovered you through Diddy Blood. Yo. Even he stepped away from this. So what keeps you motivated Negative. to keep going? The youngster, my nephew now. Shout out to my other nephew, Lil, man. He had, he had the AAU game, man. Shout out to the Storm, you know what I'm saying? Coach. They keep me pushing. Like, like I said once again, we don't got no enforcer around here. You know what I'm saying? Ain't none of that going on right now. Unity, everybody want to be segregated. So I feel like each day I get into it my way seven days a week, bro, about this rap. You know what I'm saying? She was just here, but she had to go to the nephew basketball game. So it's like I got to wake up every day with the 365 rock, eat, sleep, shit, this rap shit. And no one is going to happen. You know what I'm saying? You ain't no giving up. Ain't nothing wrong with passing out fly. Man, I'm just letting you boy know on the record, man. If you don't got a team, man, you your team. You create the team, man. You gravitate the people to you. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how it go. Because if these kids see you working... Man, somebody gonna eventually like the song and it's gonna get some motion, but it's how hungry you is, though. Being though that you're a Muslim, correct? I'm doing a lot, man. Now, why do you participate in a culture such as this that kind of uh, many many people consider genocidal? Say, man, as me born a Muslim, man, I really feel like the only person I have an answer to is God. You know what I'm saying? So what if you might not like it or he might not like what I'm talking about? Hey, man, it's not for you to like. This is something God bless me with give. Yeah, I understand certain stuff I might be talking about that it could be negative. But, man, who cares? Because at the end of the day, man, I went through this. You know what I'm saying? I know somebody else going through it. So, I mean, hey, I pray to Allah. I make my salats. I might not make all of them. I go to the mosque. You know what I'm saying? And I might, I might, you know, during Ramadan, I might miss a few days, man. But that's me, I lie, I'm building. I ain't perfect, man. You know what I'm saying? I come from the streets with this, and I'm blessed to be where I'm at right now. Not particularly you as to say, I mean, as far as the uh, elements in the culture of this rap industry. You know what I mean? The shoes, the death, the mama's crying, the drug selling, you know, the... the Some of these niggas be goofy, bro. And I don't mean I don't mean to be I don't mean to be like this. Some of them can be it, it be extra. The activity that you indulge in, like I tell the person each and every day, my boy shout out to my boy Fees in the back of us. Man, if you get caught up with these bloggers, man, and you know that's their job, then you ask them whatever you asking for. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't finna get on nobody blog or do no politics shit. I don't even do it. So when you you killing another black brother or another white, it's like for what what's the what's the reason? Let me know about some pussy, about some little coins, some money that we it ain't gonna never stop coming. So what is it? That's what gets the most motion though, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that might be one of the reasons that a lot of artists uh decide to continue to keep that that type of entertainment uh functioning or right. going or whatever you wanna call it. Right? Right. So what would it take to, you know, kind of reverse that? I mean, I'm a player. You know what I'm saying? So I consider myself a money bad, yo, or my city slash Jay-Z. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the shit I'm shooting for. So yeah, I talk about the guns and all that, but my rap don't consist of I come from hushing. You know, pressing down on me a little something every now and then. You know what I'm saying? When I wasn't engaged or married, whatever you want to call it. So I don't even, I, I does into it, but I like the hustle. You know what I'm saying? But don't get it twisted. I, I cut up now, but I don't have to, though. It's a time and place for certain shit. And certain goofy shit, you just brush off and look at, you know, you don't even entertain the nonsense now. What other mistakes is Dallas making in the music industry? Huh, that's a good question. To me, y'all need to quit getting over on the artists. Give an artist an opportunity. If they got somebody coming in the city, we ain't got to bang them across their head to open up for them. Give them a little bit more exposure. Because you let me open up for somebody, I'm going to put the work, I'm going to drop the promo, I'm going to continue pushing, fly, whatever. They need more exposure. You know what I'm saying? You giving an artist, telling an artist, hey, man, I got such and such coming here. I'm going to charge him a thousand. It's like, what is what position you're trying to Negative. put somebody in when you charge them a thousand dollars to open up for an artist? 
You know what I'm saying? What What are you trying to give? They need more exposure. We need more exposure. We need better representation in the city. Both. Because we just had a uh, money bag. Did you hear about the money bag yo situation? Oh man, yeah, man, that was kind of like damn. And they gonna bring them right back to the city again. You know that. It's like you know. And Dallas gonna show right up. I don't like to speak up on politics shit, but what I am gonna say. Man, y'all know certain shit be bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's got to be about the biggest. So them, they say them little dudes that did what they did about their money, and they was upset about the ones against the folks that came in the club. Done. Man, you got to expect, man, somebody spending 5000 on the table, man, he could have gave it to his kids. So the business got to be understanding. Like you said, it needs more of the presentation got to be right. The business got to be ran right. Because all you doing is spinning somebody. And then saying, I would say, oh, shit, you know, we come to they city, them niggas sweet out there. We can go and run it up. So is, is it going to be, like you're saying, they need to enforce it, going to stand behind it and be like, nah, we ain't doing no business like that in our city. Everybody else eating Atlanta, Detroit, L.A., Houston. Come on, daddy, we got to shake up out of that goofy shit. So we need more people in the city to be yep. at. You know what I mean? Stump down about the business. Right, because there's too many motherfuckers from outside these motherfuckers. They're doing, you know, they just running wild. So you're going to be the rapper to put no Dallas on your back? Yeah, man, I'm putting the city on my back. I'm real annoyed at it, man. Sad, sad, that'll be my second home. I fuck with the clip. I my daddy from the West. I mean, I love Dallas. P D up to the boy in fucking town, whatever. I'm trying to put this boy on my back. I just need a little action, man. And I ain't going to stop. And I got old boy coming with me, man. 1800 block. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how we come. Hey.